Hello! I'm very excited to start this course, but before we start everything, we need to figure out where we're starting and where we're ending up. We want to have a clear path of success. This course is going to start off with some React basics. This is especially useful for those who have never written a single line of React or for those that need a bit of a refresher. In this section, we're going to learn about why React exists. We're going to learn about the fundamental principles so that you can tell people, this is why React has become popular. These are the benefits. These are the pros and cons. And we're also going to build a fun little project to get us comfortable with React. It's a big section, but it's going to be a lot of fun. By the end of this section, you're going to know React basics. I mean, that's what the section is called. But this is the fun part. Using the basics that we've learned in this section, we're going to right away start building our large e-commerce app. We're going to introduce topics like React Router and Firebase to have different pages on our app and also do user sign-ins. We're also going to start adding Redux into our application so that it's ready to scale. And then finally, we're also going to add payments using the Stripe API so that people can actually buy stuff from our store. And in this half of the course, we're going to have a fully fledged e-commerce app where we store user information. We use Redux to store state, React Router to move between pages, and Stripe to actually make online purchases. And don't worry, we're going to teach you these topics from scratch. And this is where most courses would stop. We'd have a nice app, you'd learn the React basics, and you'd feel comfortable working on a React project. But we take this a little bit further. After we've gotten the fundamentals and we've built the main components of our application, we introduce you to advanced topics like CSS and JS. We're going to convert our app to use a popular library called Styled Components. And then we introduce Redux Saga, a scalable way for us to handle asynchronous actions in our app. Then things get even more interesting we actually start implementing hooks into our app and see how it compares with Redux. We also use Context API, again, comparing it how it's going to work with Redux and hooks. And finally, even add GraphQL to manage at an even larger scale our state. And by this point, we'd have done a lot in our application. But we take it a little bit further. We start implementing Firebase features in different ways even creating a Stripe backend that you can use so that our app can actually process payments. We even talk about complex topics like design patterns, including observables or a higher order components pattern, and even touch on an important topic of performance, how we can scale our applications and make them performant. And finally, the last two bonus sections where we actually learn about progressive web apps and implement our app as a progressive web app and then a nice section on testing where we use the Jest library to practice writing tests. As you can see, there's a lot in here. And this won't be easy, but we do promise you that we're going to make it fun along the way. And by the end of this course, this all is going to make sense. These are going to be the skills that you will acquire throughout the course. And by the end of it all, you would have had an app that implements all of these so that you can compare and contrast know when to use Redux, when to use Context API, when to use Hooks or GraphQL. You're going to be able to make smart decisions with any React project. We're going to take you from zero to mastery. And along the way, we might throw in a little joke or two to make it fun. Whether you're new to React or you've taken a few React courses, but you still don't feel confident in your skills. This course is for everybody. But the best part is this right here, our online community. We have over 40,000 developers chatting every day in our little community here where we help each other out. We work through problems together and we discuss the latest and greatest in the world of programming. And this is an optional resource for you to use so that you can have back and forth conversations with other students as well as myself and Ihua. But you know what? I can see you getting antsy and ready to start learning. So enough talk. Let's learn. Let's get started. I'll see you in the next one.